Hey everybody, I'm Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. Today I have another thrift haul video for you. It was a little expensive by my standards, $44, $44. I'm gonna go through everything I got for $44 out here by my car. Her name is Lucille. You may remember if you've been following this channel for a while, my former car, Tawanda. All right, so I got I got a little bit of I got a little bit of footage for y'all from thrift shopping the other day. I'm gonna show that to you now. sort of collecting up gold frames so I got this gold frame that is one of the best ways to save money for shopping frames brand new are just super expensive I mean this one has a tag on it I mean you can if you're not gonna get it from thrift store you probably go to Ross goodies TJ Maxx something like that but I mean from a full price store frames are just very expensive and there are always picture frames at the thrift store that's a hot tip if you need picture frames there's nowhere to go but the thrift store you will find them um so I got that for 99 cents and I have some I didn't have one that big now I have a book of art like a large book it was my papa's who passed away uh but i wanted to keep that it's just a cool book and it has all this surreal art and i wanted to frame up some of it so i needed some bigger frames now this was a 44 dollars haul so you gotta have something big ticket something that you would have bought new if you couldn't find it old to make it worth it so children's shoes children's winter coats those are some of the top items I always, always try to get ahead of time in bigger sizes for them to grow into from the thrift store. Just going by and willy-nilly stuff at the thrift store, any old thing that strikes your fancy, is not really saving money, it's not really being frugal. But if you are purchasing items that you would have bought full price otherwise, then yes, you are saving money. Anyway, I got Zenia, I like new like new condition winter coat um i believe this was four dollars so we got i mean it's just it's perfect condition little, little black and white snake print girl loves snakes um you know fleece pink lined i don't know a thing about brands but it's in light new condition you know with the hood and the little velcro for the hood i mean this is real winter wear and you have to have that and another one of my priorities with my children was to always have them set up with you know snow suits and raincoats and galoshes the appropriate attire to feel comfortable being outside in different types of weather to help them you know be, just be more natural people just be more comfortable in the outdoors. Just, it's been a priority with me raising them is the outdoor time, outdoor time, outdoor time. And from the very beginning, they 
thrived on it. If your baby's unhappy, take them outside. That's a that's a tip. Um, okay. So y'all know I homeschool my Tom all the time. And every year I do a three ring binder. And every three ring binder I've ever had, I got from the thrift store. I love these really big ones. I love them with these pockets. I love the flat thing on here. You can always find, not every single time you go, but three ring binders is a thing you should really never buy new because they always show up at the thrift store. And I remember back when I was in high school, um, like at the last day of school, clean out your locker day, notebooks, notebooks, paper, just piling up in the trash can. Um, this is a place where as a society we can really do better about waste. Um, it's school supplies and the enormous amount of paper schools use. Um, but yeah, so I love this. They also have a little place on this and I put like this one, I have a small three ring binder because I didn't have a big one at the time for Tom's third grade, which he's currently in. So I'm going to transfer that to this large binder, um, third grade. And he's really taken off learning, so it might be a two binder year just for work we do. But another thing, if y'all watched, I made another video recently about minimizing and organizing my photos and get them all in albums. And I had one box left when I was in the album, not in a album. And that box was a shoe box that I inherited when, um, you know, my papa and Nini passed away. And so I needed one more photo album. I might need one more after this. So I got photo albums. If you buy them brand new or expensive, this photo album, and I, I like this like snakeskin, green snakeskin, 99 cent. Mm hmm. 99 cent. So this will help me finish my photo project. Another thing I'm going to tell y'all I do is I pick up gifts when I see them because I like to buy secondhand. Um, you never know what's going to be around. And so when I see something I think someone would like in particular, I get it for them. Anyway, I hope my mother isn't watching this because I think she'll really like this cute little sign. You know, it's like new. It was 99 cent and this will just go so nice in a gift. You know, wrapping is really special. I always do homemade wrapping. Um, family is like honey, mostly sweet and we stick together. Yeah, I mean, this is really good for us because we're not always sweet. Now, um, okay, I didn't have any of these. And especially with Easter coming up, I'm thinking about eggs. I don't eat eggs anymore because I have high cholesterol. <sighs> but I might die some eggs. Anyway, um, but I also am really thinking about grilling this year, this summer. I have not bought a grill. Um, so I want to get a grill. I want to do grilling. Um, the best way to describe my diet is at this point with my high cholesterol is vegan but with fish. It's the best way to explain it. Vegan, but with fish. Okay. So, I'm going to show y'all the clothing items I got. You know, this is a nice haul. Um, so, jammy bottoms from my daughter, Zinnia. Pants from my daughter, Zinnia. I don't know about y'all. Any of y'all have little girls? I'm just about tired. I'm so tired of leggings. Leggings every day, every outfit. Like, it is just like, please let's wear something that's not leggings. I actually like wearing them. I'm, summer's coming up so we can switch to shorts, but I'm just tired of basic leggings, leggings, leggings every day. Anyway, some linen, sparkly. I don't know if y'all can see the sparkle thread. Little linen pants for my daughter. Oh, I love this. There were so many vintage dresses at, little girls vintage dresses at the thrift store. When Zinnia was a little baby girl, I used to dress her like a doll baby in little vintage dresses. I just, I love everything vintage. I loved it. It was such a good look for her. But, you know, there's a lot of vintage baby clothes because babies grow out of them so fast that they don't mess them up, you know. But you get older and you don't find as many vintage dresses for big girls. But this is nice, like 90s. 
a little dress, a little sundress, a little pot. I'd wear this in my size. Anyway, that'll be a nice dress for her. What's this? Oh, this is for my son. My son has my son has boring fashion. He's been raised like a rainbow, but he has boring fashion. He likes elastic waist pants. So, some for him. He's a child. He's grown so tall, so big, about as big as I am now. Nine years old. He's grown so fast. I just, it's a struggle just to keep him in pants that are big enough for him. Um, so, I got that, like new condition, got him a pair of sweatpants. The child loves sweatpants and basketball style shorts. That's his favorite thing. Um, so, I'll let him be him, even if it's not an exciting fashion choice. Um, speaking of exciting fashion choice, I got to see a little skirt. That's another thing I used to dress her in all the time when she was tiny little, is tutus. This isn't really a tutu, but maybe she'll like it. Last little thing in clothes is a little tiger shirt. Now, I don't think this is going to fit on me, but it will fit on my daughter. Now, that's the last, that's the last for clothes. Now, I love, I don't like to get caught last minute for things like holidays and birthdays, gifts, um, because then you end up making irresponsible financial and eco-friendly decisions. And so I, uh, you really prepare ahead of time and like to put some thought into holidays. Um, so we have Easter coming up, so Easter presents. So, I like to do a little bit matchy-matchy. So, I found each of them a metal lunchbox. So, peanuts, big one for Tom, my son, and then PJ Masks. I don't like these new cartoons like PJ Masks, but my daughter does. Let her do her. Um, so, $1.99. 99 cents. So, three dollars. And so, this is going to be kind of like Easter baskets. And they're like that. I'm going to set it up, decorate. Um, and then, inside the Easter baskets, their big thing is going to be movies. Now, you can get DVDs for two dollars a piece at the Goodwill. So, then they all get two DVDs a piece in their little setup. So, um, I got, this has never even been opened. Uh-oh, here comes Senia. I gotta hide it. Alright, the surprise did not get spoiled. Senia's all set up with her crackers and her soup and a little Sailor Moon. Okay, so I showed y'all the little Easter lunch box. Now, I'm going to show you the DVDs. So, for Zinnia, never been opened, never in in store. Love it, love it. And also for Zinnia, we have Benji Ultimate 4 Movie Collection. Always, here's another tip. Always, 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 always look at the desk. Like, if it is tore up looking, scratched all the bits, don't get it. But we really don't have problems with DVDs we've gotten from the thrift store. They've all been fine, but I do check them first. Um, and then for Tom, this actually was $3.99 instead of two. Um, and this is Ghostbusters, but it has one and two. And then it has a little book that comes with it. Like, a little. Anyway, it's in, like, new condition. A little double feature gift set. This is going to be for Tom. And then Tom, this is one of those like cheapy little DVDs you get from the dollar store or something anyway. But Tom loves Gumby. He loves Gumby. Uh, <laughs> and so um, for the longest time in our family, the only TV we had was from DVD. And I found that helped the children self-regulate their own screen time. Also extremely frugal, very small income. I would not pay for a TV service or internet. And so I would use the internet at the library and we would watch DVDs largely checked out from the library. So now 
I do have internet in my home, but I also have someone splitting the bill. And then, my boyfriend. Um, and then I, with my phone plan, I have Hulu that comes with my phone bill. There's no way to take it off and get a price break. I just, I have Hulu. So I don't pay for Hulu, um, but I have internet in the house. And recently, my little pandemic project, um, no, my big pandemic project, I bought a laptop. And, you know, I hadn't really been on the computer much since I've been divorced. And, you know, now I went to college for English. And I was just a type and research and writing fool and for years. And then, um, you know, I had this whole just unplugged period after my divorce. But I got my laptop. And I have actually finished writing Memoir of Millennial Motherhood. So that book is coming soon, y'all. And pre-order is going to come soon. And my book my book is done um but i have the laptop and so i hook that up to our tv and i let the children watch halo um but for the longest time it was not it was just dvds and now it has to be like you have to ask mama for special permission to watch tv on her computer and i'm the only one who touches it puts it on um you know the children do things on the computer like educational things but i am in control of the media consumption that's always been very important to me um, it is a little different having Hulu at our fingertips, um, with the DVDs, rarely ever do, you know, you do like a binge watch of like seven episodes of something, um, but here we are. So that's a little something about me and DVDs. I highly recommend this as a way to self-regulate your children and the children know how to use the DVD player and are free to use their DVDs as they see fit. Um, two little things. This is going to be with Tyler. She's looking. She's looking out the window, but I don't think she, little baby Z is looking out the window, but I don't think she can really see what I've got over here. Anyway, in Tom's little basket, you know, just for a little 10 cent, this was just in the children's books. It's never even been marked in. Easter word search, 10 cent. And then 99 cent, who knows, it might just cost 99 cent for this at Walmart or something. But you find new things at the thrift store all the time. Like, think about how built up a lot of houses get, or how mine used to years and years and years ago get. You know, you have things that are new and never even been opened, and sometimes you have got to kind of declare bankruptcy you need a clean slate and people just need to get rid of everything you know and when you are overwhelmed by so much stuff you can't use it all meaningfully and consciously sometimes you gotta just get a clear slate and so new stuff ends up at the thrift store or you get a gift and you don't really like it send it to the thrift store just don't throw it in the garbage so anyway this will go in Tom's little Easter setup and last thing, I just got a new basket. It's nice and big. I'm thinking about using it for my recycling, for my cans. I just use cardboard boxes right now. But I like everything to be beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. And I thought I might like this more than a cardboard box. And let's see, I play. I did pay $5 for this new apple basket. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I I could see something else like clothes for the kids to grow into. I mean, it's not going to be sturdy that I want to carry it around all the time with laundry, um, but something like sitting in the bottom of a closet for blankets or sitting in the bottom of the closet for clothes that the children are waiting to grow into, winter clothes. This is just a nice, attractive storage situation. And that's everything I got for $44. Everything I got for $44, I'm feeling good about it. It's been so nice to feel some sunshine, um, to allow myself to go back into the thrift stores. I only go, I do drive by, <laughs> and if there's a little bit of cars, I'll go in. I'm not vaccinated yet. I hope to be soon. I always wear my mask. I don't go in places if there's a lot of people there. I try to go in slow periods, less breathers under the roof.
Y'all be safe, continue social distancing, continue masking, and please do get vaccinated when it's your turn. I love y'all all so, so much. Please check me out on Patreon if you haven't already done so. If you haven't looked at Patreon to see what that's really about, do take a look at it and definitely think about getting that extra content that I post over there all the time. Bye, y'all.